Welcome to this special report on COVID-19, brought to you by CNA TV. Welcome to the NACA COVID-19 report. I'm your host, Dane Henning. Massachusetts will be temporarily pausing a program that provides coronavirus testing kits to long-term care providers to improve quality control problems, a state official announced this week. Earlier this month, the state announced that nursing homes could order test kits to be delivered directly to their facilities and administered by trained personnel. The program serves as an alternative to the mobile testing offered through the state's National Guard. The state sent out 14,000 tests to facilities and only 4,000 have returned. Many of the tests were returned to the state unlabeled and had leaks, according to the report. The state still plans to offer mobile testing through the National Guard while it addresses issues with its test kit program. Mary Lou Sutters, the state's Secretary of Health and Human Services, on Wednesday added that the state had better oversight over quality control than the National Guard program. She said, quote, we're working with the nursing home industry so we can restart sending test kits once we understand what some of the logistical issues are. In legislative news, the hazard pay for the front lines during Health Emergencies Act is currently in-house committees. Representatives Kendra Horn from Oklahoma and Joe Nagoose from Colorado have introduced a legislation to provide hazard pay for all frontline healthcare workers battling the COVID-19 outbreak. It would require employers of healthcare workers to pay an additional 25% of workers' salary as hazard pay during the public health emergencies and would ensure federal reimbursement for 100% of the associated expenses. Thank you very much for joining us on this COVID-19 report, and we'll see you next time.